Time to put a little spring in our step and celebrate something joyful. How about the resurrection? Alleluia, Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed, alleluia. There is an infectious quality to this Easter song, text and tune by Luis Boyos, born in 1937 and last known to be living in the Dominican Republic. The song tells stories of the risen Jesus appearing to his followers after the resurrection, to the women at the tomb, to Mary Magdalene, the disciples, including Thomas, who needed to verify that this truly was Jesus by touching his hands and his feet. But throughout this song, there clearly is joy. This past 50 years or so, with the help of technology, the church has expanded its repertoire to include songs from all around the globe. These songs give us a taste of individual cultures, a little taste of how they understand God, how they live, and how they share their faith. It also gives us a little taste of other instruments that help us sing. We're all the richer for it. This is not a new thing, however. People of God have always been adopting and adapting its songs. We can document pretty much how songs of ancient Hebrew became Gregorian chant after the time of Christ in the early church, which then a thousand years later became songs of the Reformation, including a lot of our chorales, which I suppose later Across the ocean and joined with other cultures in North America to become something new altogether yet. 
our hymnals document the nature of the church's song being a living and growing repertoire, including representatives from all kinds of various times and spaces that are carried forward from generation to generation, time sifting out that which we don't need anymore, hanging on to that which we do find helpful. Among those songs are songs from one of my favorite places, France. Songs that come to France have a buoyancy, a lightness to them, a folk-like quality that I find very endearing. I've joked about the French culture actually understanding what Jesus was talking about by saying, here, have some wine, have some bread, love one another. The hymn, Now the Green Blade Rises, is actually a combination of cultures. It's a 20th century text by an Anglican priest paired with a 15th century French Christmas carol, Noël Nouvelle. The text is rich in metaphor, love being Jesus, perhaps, the whole image of the, a green blade rising fuller to become grain, which is then harvested, crushed, and transformed into something else, like bread. Is this a metaphor for Jesus? Is it a metaphor for the church year that we celebrate, beginning with Advent and landing at the end times? Or is it a metaphor about us and our life and death and resurrection? The answer is probably yes and more. That's the thing about quality art and metaphor, is that one can see different things in different times fed by our current context and experience. And it's shocking sometimes how an, even an old text can seem strikingly contemporary. I think of stanza four of this hymn in particular. When our hearts are wintry, grieving, or in pain, your touch can bring us back to life again. Musically, I imagine this hymn sung as a playful dance, where we're in the air more than on the ground, on the front part of our feet in buoyancy rather than on our back heels with lots of weight. The organ in this particular arrangement, I imagined being blades of grass dancing together, probably not unlike a scene you might expect to see in Walt Disney's movie Fantasia, where various animals and inanimate objects come to life and move and dance. We sing this hymn as if we are doing a circle dance together, with a small group representing all of us in the middle, singing a particular stanza giving that picture of the metaphor and that's uh, while we all stand in, a, in the circumference supporting that person. The ritonello of the organ goes out of the refrain as if all creation cheers and affirms the metaphor that had just been sung by the small group in the center of the circle, then settles down to make way for the next one. In stanza three, we all sing in canon, as if to join arms with a partner, and we dance in a circle as we joyfully sing, Raised from the dead, my living Lord is seen. We do have something to celebrate. Out of this darkness of our current time, will come new life. It's a promise. Shall we dance?